<laughs> like Mike's like, I'm still like a couple years out from that. Because bees are very much your first round it of honey really is trash up. honey. Yeah. Why? Because it, that, it's new to them. Well, that first year you're feeding them sugar water to get them established because they take so long to establish. By the way, when I picked up my bees, and thank you to the gentleman down there, I forgot your name because I can't remember names, but do you want me to go grab the is it that guy? No. Oh. That that was someone different. Okay. But <clears throat> I got them from the bee place um south of San Antonio. Floresville? No. Um and uh, <laughs> and Beaver. this this man like just I I <laughs> so I had I had thought he was in Bernie for some reason. I don't know why I thought he was in Bernie. I didn't have the address before this, Bernie. Right? But I get sent the address and I don't check it until the day of like hour and a half away. No. Like 30 minutes before I'm supposed to leave, I don't oh, check shoot. the address. And it takes like 2 hours to get there. And it right. was an hour and 10 to get down there. So I called their office and I was like, "Hey, I fucked oh, up. This like Blue River. Just shut the fuck up already and let me tell the fucking <laughs> I'm story. Sorry, God I'm damn. To, I'm I will think. punch you in the face so you, hard. You're worse than my wife. What I'm trying to story, just let him talk. Damn. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll ask about this. And fuck, and go to attention, salute me. Uh, yes, the math, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, so. 30 minutes before you called so the office. I, I called the office and I said, hey, I'm I'm going to run late. You know, th this is, I'm probably going to, I said, and I said it was going to take me longer than it was actually going to take me because in, in case, case there was of traffic, traffic or yep. something like that. And she was like, well, let me call the owner. And she calls the owner and she calls me back and she says, and this is in a joking manner, obviously, but she says, he says, he'll be here, but you got to bring a six pack, right? And it's like, okay. You're like, okay, fuck it. I'm bringing a six pack. I fucking stopped at a gas station, fucking picked up a six pack. And you probably didn't pick up like no shitty six pack. You probably bought something decent. Well, that's not necessarily the case because we're in Texas. Well, so he got I picked Lone Star Shiner. Shiner. Okay, I still classify that as decent. <laughs> Not, now, if you picked up, what's the other local one? Um, Lone Star? Lone, Lone Star, Star. Which Pearl. isn't actually linked. Local? It's exactly. actually brewed in, what, Wisconsin? <laughs> yep. Anyways, so I get there. He gives me the bees. I strap him down in the back of my truck. He's like, hey, you know, do this, do that, another, right? Because they're already in the hive, right? So yeah. I don't have to do anything but unplug the hole to the front of the hive. When did you give him the six pack? So, like, after he gave me the six pack and he had told me that, I walked around to the side of my passenger side. I opened the door. And I was like, so I heard the idea to bring you a six pack. And he's like, I was just joking about that. And he was so cracked up. He's like, I you appreciate it. He's like, you want to have a beer with me? I was like, fuck yeah. Because yeah. I got an hour and 10 minute drive home. Well, <laughs> you, you talk about a man that was passionate about, about his. Yeah, about be about, about his business, what, his though. business, his occupation. He would at that point, you're passionate about it. And right. You went. Yes, it was a joking matter. Oh, we'll come bring a six pack. Right. In a sarcastic manner. But someone you do it. And then at this point, you're like, well, I was joking, but you do it still, but he's still passionate. And yeah. there, was, there was even, there was a guy and his uh, daughter there, and they were getting into doing bees. And, you know, he was like, I've just been sitting here absorbing knowledge, brother. And I was and that's, like, that's the best part. I, he, he was a good old boy, and his daughter was a sweetheart, and, and they were, they were just listening and just absorbing knowledge. And we're sitting there chatting. This man, he ships bees out to California for almond season. Oh, wow. Mm. Yes. Because they don't have enough bees out there. Nope. And so I think they've pushed them what out. What happens? I so think it was. Die? No. no, they pushed them out. No. He ships them out in a semi. He uh -huh. fills a semi up full of bee beehives. Yeah. They set the bees up and then they ship them back at the end of like almond pollinating season. <sighs> And time, because it's different seasons for almond season as opposed to watermelon season out here, so they get back in time for him to set them up for watermelon season out here. But to push your question, California has pushed out a lot of their bee population with forest fires, with cities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pesticides. Pesticides is a big thing. Like, you have 
your three major ones right now they've had forest fires nonstop. They've had drought right. nonstop, so less flowers. Well, they've had flooding recently. Like Which thankfully flooding. they had flooding, but By the pesticides way, were the biggest. It cracks me up that the bi- biggest, like, you know, state for like ecology and all that jazz is a state that can't keep bees alive because they kill them all for pesticides. Yep. Motherfucker, really? Hold on, let's ship them from Texas. Yeah, we got Napa <laughs> Valley that pushes out some of the best wine. No bees there. No bees. Unless they're imported like what are you saying yeah most of the wine that's sour is because there's less bees Mm. so they have for example 2017 good year 2018 bad year 2019 bad year 2020 good year why because we went back to bringing pollination back pollination matters are you talking about here or in cali Cali. napa valley napa valley okay specifically napa valley wines it's been like well it's a hit or miss eh. but it it depends on what happened around like True. bees actually matter more than just honey By more the way, than just pollination speaking of bees you know that bees are not native to the americas Correct. i did not know that they are native to africa no uh they, they're native to europe africa and asia right they all Mostly have different asia, kinds though. of bees no Europe the, had their own breed of bees before the honeybee. Where does yes, it I'm talking originate about, from? They had a strain of honeybees in Europe, and they had a strain of honeybees in Asia, and they had a strain of honeybees in Africa. This goes into what we were talking about last podcast of cats meow differently in different countries. Like it it seriously makes sense though why cats would respond differently to the native language. So bees, in theory, everything started somewhere. Mm. Everything started at one place. Somewhere. Different locate one place, each location, different origin. But if bees started in Europe or Africa or Middle East or Asia, they still have to go somewhere. Same way a a tree drops all its seeds and slowly makes a forest. Yeah. And and so I've got bees now, right? right? So that that's cool. And he actually came out with I me like because I was I was refilling their 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 feeder, but I didn't realize because I had a friend of mine. She came out. Thanks, Allie. I appreciate the help. Really knowledgeable, but from what you oh, told me, super knowledgeable. She's awesome, and she fucking took B books. And I she love marked knowledge. Them so and, you were you were speaking all this and stuff, I, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. and I've been like like reading through them. And, oh, it's awesome. It was so bad to the point that we're halfway walking out there, and he was like, "You haven't said anything." I was like, "Nope." I'm listening. I'm I'm learning. Like and I love gaining knowledge. I, I like did, to be a fly on the wall in those. By the way, I'm gonna invite you out for my next hive inspection. I okay. know that it's a bit of a haul for you to get out there, but it's not gonna take long to do the I'll inspection. I want I want to learn. Even yeah. if I'm quiet the whole time, I just want to learn. I want to know what's going on because knowledge is. If you're not learning, you're dying. But I didn't know when you inspect a hive, you essentially take the entire hive apart right every single one of those slates yeah, you pull, pull them out. out and you eyeball the whole thing and you take all the boxes and you eyeball the entire thing and if you do it right the bees aren't, aren't so pissed off <laughs> we're halfway through this do it sunset and i'm it's i don't even think it's that but we're 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 out there putting the sugar water and all this and he's because like, i'm establishing a new hive they don't know all the shit and i was like come on be move and mike's over you're just like you're, you're gonna end up killing a bee and i was like but no <laughs> like so I, I literally stood there for like i don't know five ten seconds and yeah. the bee finally moved and i put it down i didn't hear the <clears throat> and i was like okay good i didn't kill a bee yeah dude we were camping one time and i killed a bee and i got so much yeah that was the day he poked his eye out and yes, drove halfway was. blind home. Yeah, I drove with one eye oh all the way gosh. home. Oh my gosh. People, was... I understand people's concern for bees. I, I totally But if we have a massive it. population, but also if, if you're allergic, there is also a concern there. Yeah. So you, it's a valid what, concern. What was being told to me was that bee's life was more valuable than mine. I mean, that is what pretty much was stated at that point yeah. that I was there. And I was like, really? For sure? Okay. I mean, it's valid. 
I, I mean, I'd rate that be sure. higher than you. Hey, I, I got to <laughs> ask you a question. Though. <laughs> this guy south of town, now that we're not talking about it anymore, he's south of town. Was he in Beeville? No. Bad joke. I hate it. It's a real it's a real town. It is a real town. No, it wasn't. And I'm sure they don't have any bees. But... No. no, I'm sure no, they, they have probably bees. do have bees. 